we've got two people asking similar questions here. So Rickon and Christine. So Rickon asks, does anyone know if certain responses on Microsoft Forms can be directed to certain teams? Christine says, uh, looking for help. I've created a form which I would like to put on my website. When the form is completed online, is it possible to have the completed form emailed to a generic email address? The answer is yes and yes. <laughs> That's the short answer. Uh, the long answer is Microsoft Forms collects the responses in an Excel spreadsheet format in the background. You can export that, but there's no way to um, put that into or automatically direct that to a certain place. You have to bring in some of the other tools that are in the Power, um, Power Stack, and that is Power Automate using a flow. Um, you can pretty much take that, you know, using um, logic, you know, for the one question, certain responses directed to certain teams, there needs to be some kind of trigger in there. What category is it or, you know, what type of uh, response that they're looking for? So, so yes. And then the completed form email, that, that was a real easy, that's like an out of the box um, flow that so there's a template for that. You don't even really have to do much for that. Pretty common I just, scenario, yeah. Yeah. I just actually wrote an entire course on my platform of how to take information from a Microsoft form using Automate and post it in a SharePoint list, because this nice. is a very common question and I'm tired of answering um, nice. step by step. So I just recorded the videos. So anybody's interested, let me know. Is that one of your uh, your Wednesday? No, it, I did do, um, it's one of my sessions that I present on, yeah. but it, this one is actually a step-by-step -step video course that um, it's about an hour of, of time. Yeah, we'll add the links. So we'll, we'll include it here in the in the email and the in the video. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. <laughs> what I like about this scenario is that you've got just normal users who are taking the tools out of the box, like forms getting the responses and then now they're there's a bit more maturity happening and they want to come to the next level and either centralize that information or take further action on it and so you're able to use some of the other tools in, in the stack like sherry said with power platform specifically power automate to do all that moving around and now you're getting into like this citizen developer the maker scenarios where you're you're taking data, you're moving it from one form, you're taking action on it, and it can become very configurable. And the tool in Power Automate can be very flexible. So triggers, assignments, other types of actions, maybe you post to that SharePoint list for more long-term tracking or centralized tracking, uh, like Sherry outlined. Maybe you wanna develop a, an email notifier to that generic account that you mentioned, or maybe you take it a step further and you create something like a, uh, a team's adaptive card and it'll push it out to that particular user with a button that they can click on that will acknowledge that the message was received or take further action. So it's one of the great things again. You 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 start modestly and then you start to to grow as you know requirement time and your desire to learn more of those things. And Sherry said that she's gonna share a link to a video and there's you know plenty of blogs out there that discuss this type of thing as well. So the resources are there. It doesn't always have to be a, a paid engagement from uh, a consultant, but the tools are there. You've got them in your Microsoft 365 and Power Platform toolbox. Let's hope you use them. You know, I just thought of another scenario that I really love that that builds on top of this. Exactly what you said, Norm, is it creates an adaptive card, post it over to teams so that the internal teams, so the customer success team or sales or operations, based on the response, you can even have different uh, uh, routing of that card based on the responses in the form to go to support or to sales or to marketing or whatever, IT support. Um, and so somebody can see, hey, customer XYZ just responded to this, here's the issue they're having, and then go take auction, uh, action. You can have that internal discussion of, you know, hey, who should best handle this? Is it something that's really us? Should we pass it off to this other team? But that's a great, next level um, you know, uh, uh, automation that you can build based off of this scenario. Yeah, I think the only thing that's still kind of hanging out there as far as this question is the generic email address. 
because it's it's important to know that you can email a channel of a team, you can email a whole team, each one of those has their own email address, or you can create a group mailbox that multiple people are assigned to. So there's different options you have too within 365 to for your generic email address. Yeah. yeah.